My name is Carly Manning-Smith and I'm a 7th grade ELA teacher in the 515 building. My day typically starts a little before 7 when I get to school. Uh, that's because most of my planning happens after school. I love using whatever we did that day, the discussions or the work, uh, to plan for the next day. So that's normally my best brainstorm is after hours. So in the morning, everything's laid out, and I'm waiting for my homeroom to arrive, and then we watch some of the news together. And I always like their fresh perspective on what's going on in the world. That's really important for me to know as um, a literature and writing teacher, because it's something that I should probably be incorporating in our discussions or our writing pieces. And then the rest of the day, I teach either literature writing classes, and in literature each year, I try to work in those current or relevant or cultural pieces that I know are important to my students, and that changes each year. And I also try to blend those with the classical pieces because they need to know those historical pieces and why they're famous in our country. And as well, in my writing classes, that first month, we try to establish a culture of faith and just understanding of each other and of the process because um, at this point it's collaborative. They're old enough to be each other's editors and they're skilled enough to be each other's editors. So if you were to come in after September to one of those classes, you would see a lot of peer work and group work and sharing of Google Docs and critiquing, but in a respectful manner that's uh, helping each student get better. And they understand each other in a way that I try to, but to hear it from one another's mouths um, does a much better job for them. In my free time between classes, you would either see me with my ELA team helping other students or with the PRIDE team, which is our positive behavior support system in the 515 building. My favorite part about working at Collegium is that I get to see my students even once they're done uh, middle school. So compared to a typical school where the middle school window is such a short time, I still get to see those students carry on into high school. And I might see them at a sporting event or just getting on the bus outside or in the hallways after school for extracurricular activities. And it's really important to me to keep those relationships because they were really important to me as students and they still are now. And to hear that they're old enough to get their license or that they just got their first part-time job or to hear what they're excelling at now as they're getting older is really refreshing and also really endearing. It always uh, brings me back down to earth. It's the best ending to a day to catch up with someone I haven't seen in a little while. And it's definitely why I'm working here. Okay, if I wasn't a teacher, I would definitely apply to work at Flowcabulary, and uh, my past students definitely know that I joke about that, but really, I think I would try. Flowcabulary is a website that creates hip-hop and rap songs that are all content-based, and they have a music video that goes with each one. And when I was a sixth grade teacher, my students and I would take one of the most current uh, stuck in your head radio hits because they already had the whole beat memorized and we would change all the lyrics so that they would incorporate whatever topic we were covering in social studies or science. And within just a day or two, my students had all of that vocabulary memorized because they already knew the beat. So they just had to get all the words to rhyme together. And I really liked getting creative and I think I have a flair for it. Okay, this one I'm I love it. I'm ready. Thank you.